So that's my wife's store. She's selling mango shakes. See the mangoes? Oh, hi, Rosie. You're gonna sell some mango shakes yeah. today? How many? <laughs> ten. 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 Maybe. More than ten. Yeah. So I came and picked my wife up for lunch. So lunch is lunch. 62 is taking it easy today, riding around. I did my yayo job today. I hung out some clothes. When it, I'm the yayo. I'm not the yayo, -ya, I'm the yayo. And uh, yeah, I got some clothes. I only had a, a blanket to hang out, that's all I did. And then I put in, or well, voluntarily, I put in some uh, uh, rag bunch of rags you know those uh, uh microfiber rags I had like 20 of those 15 or 20 of those clean them up i like to use those because of the dental work you know i put cereal in the uh, milk and then i took my wife to work and by the time i got back it was super soggy because of the dental work i gotta have salt i'm like a baby oh Anyway, this is a uh, this is a fat banana out of my. Uh, it shows you how. Look how I got big hands. It's a fat little banana, short but fat. But everything's okay. No problemos. You see the uh, kingfisher on the top of my gate out there. He's keeping guard. I think he's watching me because he's got a nest near here. So I'm gonna keep an eye on that crazy American. <laughs> <laughs> gorgeous up here in the mountains I just dropped my wife off at work I just got bored I laid around the house <laughs> and uh wow look at this man it's sweet wow 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 you know you can't really tell perspective from in the camera but it's pretty steep downhill right there down there where that dog is the ways down there. Wow, look at that, man. That's super steep, too. I'm not gonna get out this time, but uh, wow, look how they cut through that mountain right there, that hill. That's super duper steep. 
Look at the clouds are at the top right there. All right, I just want to go down here and see how the bridge, what condition the bridge is in now, how they've been working on it. <laughs> it's a film for you. It's a horse and a dog in a row. Horse and a dog, I don't know what they're doing. <laughs> Look at that blue sky, man. Woo woo! All right, horsey. You'll be kicking my car. I just want to check the new bridge out. Look, the dog is following the horse around. The horse pooped and the dog gonna eat it. Check that out. The dog is eating the horse poop. So then, after that, the dog gonna lick your face. Not my face, cause I'm allergic to dogs. Hey, boo. And the horse is trying to protect his poop back there. Leave my poop alone. It's not right. You should be eating my poop. It's getting pretty close. Wow. It's got a steamroller on the other side. Dang, man. They're close to opening this up. Yep. Maybe. Uh, move on to another section on the other side of this ridge. There's the roller getting prepared for work tomorrow, probably. So I'm going to get on out of here before I get in their way. So the bridge is looking better. Wow, the bridge is... Uh, look like it's uh, all built up right there, and uh, dang, the fridge is looking good. Yeah, they're moving on. They got that bridge complete. So, I'll uh, see you on the flip flop. I'm gonna roll out of here. Well, today I kind of just lazed about. <laughs> you know, it's Saturday. But, you know, I wanted to take a ride in the mountains. So, I did that. And, you know, hung a couple clothes out. Boring stuff. But also, I, got, I started getting the stuff together that I'm going to need because I found out that if you, uh, instead of filling out an application for, um, you know, my um, child to be on my social security, she's 12 years old. For her to, for me to uh, do that, I don't need to fill out an application. I can just make a phone call which, uh, you know, and have the interview over the phone. It's the same thing I did when I filed for Social Security. I never went in an office. I never filled out anything online. He asked me questions. A representative asked me questions and wrote them down over the phone because of COVID. And um, it's saying, I, I think I can do the same thing now. It says it online that I can in the Social Security. Uh, area so that's what I'm going to try you know even though it's like a dollar a minute um, I should be able to do it for like 25 bucks or 35 bucks or something like that I'm going to try to get a callback number because the problem here is um, that the calls drop all the time so you're like halfway in between uh, doing something with the bank or something like that you know they're so slow and you know they got the polite talk it takes 10 minutes with the polite talk and uh, asking you questions in the beginning before you can even get down to business 
It's absolute, absolutely ridiculous. After they know who you are already, you already told them, you know, your last four years Social Security, your name, your account number. They, that's, that should be it right there. Let's start doing business. Don't continue to blabber on and on and on when I'm trying to conduct business from across the world, you know. Uh, I don't know. It seems like they would be trained to have a little bit of sensibilities in receiving your phone call. And um, also, Wells Fargo, they don't have a callback. Whoever you call, like the Global um, Remittance Center for Wells Fargo, or you call the customer service, there's no callback number. They won't give you a callback number. So if your call drops and you call again, you got to start all the way back. You were on step 15. You got to start all the way back to step one again, which I did three times while trying to talk to Wells Fargo. If any any of you work at Wells Fargo, I already put that in the, uh, you know, they sent a survey thing. So that's that's one I I just filled it out and uh, sent that because that's just ridiculous, just ridiculous. So anyway. Um, hopefully I'm, I'm going to get this weekend, I'm going to get all the, I think I got all the stuff I need, you know, like my daughter's birth certificate, I got, um, social security numbers and all that all lined up, you know, going to write everything down in a row, you know, so I got everything there on the table, uh, cause there's a list they give you what you need to have ready when you're talking to them, so that's all that and so I'm trying out my a new microphone right now you let me know in this in this talk right here um, I'm trying it out and I'm hoping that it'll be a little bit better audio for y'all so let me know and this will be the sunset for the day I know it's gonna be a good one look at those clouds and here it is well wow. I know I promised a sunset but it's not happening That's how fast it can happen, man. Uh, since I said that, it's only been, it's been less than an hour. Uh, and you never know what's on the other side of the mountain. Right over the mountain, it could be like this and still be a lot of blue sky here. So, you see it, you see the picture of how it was uh, 45 minutes ago or 40 minutes ago. But you know the tropic is like that, uh, Florida's like that, so it's not surprising to me. A wall of water, a literally wall of water can come. There's the rain ended and there was a sunset, but I'm on the way to take my wife back home, so. Uh, this, scared, this car is scared to go around me, so I will go. It's impatient beefing at me. So I went and got my wife for dinner and we got to eat dinner together. And you saw it earlier and then you saw it on the rain and now you see it literally only been 15 or 20 minutes since there was you couldn't even see the ocean at all. So that's how quick things come over the mountain and go out to sea. It's out to sea over there now. And here's the mountain, it comes over, one of them. So there you go.